Hello, welcome back. Some more Overwatch this morning. I'm so excited. We've got the Alari gameplay trailer. We've got the patch notes. Was I expecting an origin story? Yes, but maybe that's to come. Who knows? Either way, I'm super excited. I saw the patch notes page is bloody so long and I knew they were, they said they were updating like a lot of heroes. So I'm very excited to read them as well, but it has been difficult. I woke up, Alari stuff everywhere, over YouTube, Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, there's just everyone I clicked on, there's just like, Alari this, Alari that, and I was like, I have to get to watching it, because as much as like, I, I look at like, spoilers and like, leaks, I still don't want to like, I still want to see this for the first time, you know what I mean? So, without further ado, like and subscribe, and let's get into this. Rise like the sun. Oh. Okay, of course. Chosen by fate. Hell I yeah. This is why we need the origin story. <laughs> what does chosen by fate mean? I okay. am Iliari. Ilari. And I am the last child of the sun. Last child of the no, sun. I don't know what that means, but it sounds out. cool. Okay, give us the abilities. The sun gives... Oh! It's like a like a czar beam for healing. Okay. I am not going to watch you die. Okay, that's cool. Follow me. Out of sight, out of mind. Oh, okay, so we gotta heal, jump, knock back. Oh, it looks cool. I hope you don't have to uh <laughs> spin when you do that. Much better. I can never tell if the um the primary fire is actually really strong and they're all low. Sun Ignite's all. We have to fight. Oh, her ult, I feel like it's gonna be sick. Whoa. This is her gun is really well designed. Okay. Whoa, they all explode <laughs> into like a supernova. That's sick. The weight of my future rests on my shoulders. Okay. Good to know. Wow, she's got a really cool, like, vibe going on. <laughs> the way they did it was so much fun. Okay, I have to get into these patch notes because I am so excited to read more about her. Oh, great. Okay, we're at the patch notes, and we don't have any sort of, like, damage or healing numbers, which is fun, but I will probably go watch, like, 10,000 videos on her, so I will know eventually, but primary fire, long-range auto-charging rifle. Uh, and then her secondary fire, medium range healing beam that consumes solar energy. Okay, does that mean there's going to be a resource meter? I wonder. Okay, ability one, uh, outburst. Launches you into the direction you're moving, knocking back enemies. Hold jump to go higher. Okay, that's cool. It looked like it healed also, but maybe that's just, that was a visual thing. Um, deploy a pylon that heals allies. Fire an explosive ball of solar energy. Enemies hit a slowed and explode after taking significant damage. Oh, that's so when you get hit by her ultimate, it's more of a you want to run away so you don't get that. Okay, that's fun. Okay, all the new stuff. I just want to more look at hero updates. Diva. Boosters, fantastic. And mech damage immune. Okay. I just you know, I'm not, <laughs> as much as I want to be the, the cool Overwatch person who uh, reads the patch notes and has thoughts, it's the really big things that interest me. Doomfist. Oh, just nerf him to the ground. I hate Doomfist. <laughs> um, Arissa, damage fall off. Fortified health increased. Increased? Ooh, that's a, that's a significant jump. Interesting. Okay, everyone's block is getting, you know, all the projectile stuff. Annihilation. Oh, thank God. Ultimate in cost increased. Oh, that is... You know what? That's that's small, but I enjoy that. Because his ult can just be... It's not as much like... I feel like I'm fine with Ramatra ult a lot of the times. It's more in, like overtime that I hate it when like he can just sit on the car and you have to touch that's when it feels awful like it's obviously the smart play but 
Um, Winston, secondary fire stuff. Bastion. Ooh, there's there's a hefty amount of things here. Maximum explosion damage fall off. Detonation time reduced. Okay, reload time reduced. Transformation and configuration assault now repairs fifty armor health. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. A little a little stuff to Bastion, that's nice. Okay, I think there was a nerf to magnetic grenade, which is fantastic. Okay, okay. Ex oh, soldier, yes. Explosion damage reduced from 90 to 80. Ultimate cost increased. I could have a little bit more on the helix rockets. It feels like hell. <laughs> I I hate how much damage it does. I feel like he hits a, a helix rocket, you're done. If he has any sort of tracking, you're done. Um, Sombra. EM, uh, EMP cost increase and it no longer destroys Life Weaver tree. Yes, that is fantastic. As a uh, Life Weaver lover, <laughs> as a Life Weaver player, having to focus around when or not she has EMP is hell. And she can just destroy it so easily. Oh, it's, it's so annoying. Um, Anna. Damage and healing projectile reduced. Okay. Brig. Barrier shield health reduced from 300 to 250. Ultimate cost increased. Okay, I think it's because she's a little bit, like, strong at the moment. They're tuning her down. Kiriko. Suzu. Knockback removed. Healing reduced from 50 to 40. Now he has an additional 30 when cleansing a negative effect. I wonder if that stacks. I wonder if you get... If you... Like, Suzu someone that, say, anted and... Like a bleed or like an ash fire. I wonder if that would... If it heals the 40 and then two lots of 30. Hmm, that's interesting. I'd like to see that tested because that is a big burst heal. If you, that stacks a multiple... When cleansing a negative... See, it says a negative. It doesn't really say, which is interesting. Kunai. Damage increased from 40 to 45. Critical damage multiplier reduced from 3 to 2.5. Okay. That is... I don't... I can't math, but I hope that is less. Because I love Kiriko, but I hate how much damage she does. I get it. It's good for supports to have a, a lot of things. But every time I go against the Kiriko, I just... It doesn't, like, register in my mind that a support does, like, good damage. And then I run up and I just get headshot. And it is awful. Life Weaver. Okay, let's go. Base health reduced from 200 to 175. Base shield increased. Okay, so he's going to 125, which is good. Thorn Volley. Reduce the spread of the two Thorn Volley projectiles. First shot by 25%. Healing Dash. Increase from 25 to 50. That's good. I love that. Life Grip. Mobility lockout duration increased. Okay. 50% of Tree of Life's overhealing is now converted into overhealth. Up to 100 maximum overhealth. Fantastic. I love that. I The only thing I would like change of life weaver but besides like a bit better damage because he's he's fine close up if you hit your shots but like at a range he kind of just does nothing the thing i would love is cleanse on life grip i think that would make him really good because that adds some like great utility because like you're pulling someone out which usually like if you're playing him well that saves them anyway it would just be nice for it to also cleanse so you could like it's usually with anti so you could start healing quicker because they're like it i feel like it doesn't change it too, but it, it's also good to just be able to quickly like pull someone because i feel like you hold pull a lot of the time and don't get to use this if it had that cleanse you could at least cleanse like one person in like a big anti every now and then and like even if you would say it's strong to be able to cleanse someone on that like cooldown even if um even if Kiriko has it on a small cooldown, you still have to pull them. So I don't feel like it's that bad. Like, even if you're cleansing someone, you're still pulling them back to you. So I think it would be fun. But the Tree of Life change seems really cool. Um, Lucio, Mercy. Interesting. Just the damage boost nerf. Which is fine. Oh, there's a lot of stuff for PvE, I think. 
but I won't read those because I want to go into that surprise. But um, Mercy, I feel like they need to give her... I don't know. I, I agree with reducing the damage boost, but I feel like they just kind of... They need to do something drastic. I love, I like, as a, you know, a person with many hours in Mercy, I love her. But, I don't want her to, like, I don't know, I feel like you're, a lot of times with Mercy, they remove strength and then add nothing back. But, either way, I am super excited. I, I'm going to go, like, look at Alari in the, in the, um, the, what is it called, practice range. I just want to see every... I can't wait to see all the, like, the skins. I, I should have looked at those. But, you know, maybe. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll probably just watch, like, 18,000 videos. It's it's always a nice day when a new season comes out and you have every Overwatch person you ever watched, like, release all this stuff and you just get to sit there. I always do it while I'm eating breakfast. I'm, like, eating my breakfast. I'm, like, gonna go play Overwatch. But I'll watch every video that comes out. Um... But yeah, really cool changes. I can't wait to see all the new stuff. Like, obviously, the patch notes is only a small amount of what they've actually released. But I um, I hope you enjoyed and you're going to enjoy the season. And are having a good day. I hope to see you in the next one. Hopefully an origin story for Alari.